Today in the Smuggler's Room, we're about to... I challenge you to a duel! Did you just hit me with rubber gloves? Blasters at noon. That's coming up? What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian. And I'm Carissa. And welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek is once again facing off against this one in a dual blaster build. And not only is it dual blaster build, it's also going to be for our Mandalorian costumes. That's right, you get blaster builds and Mando all in one episode. So let's get your big boy pants on and let's go. All right. Okay, Nintendo Zappers are the base once again. We just can't get away from them. I purchased several of these from eBay. Most, if not all, were non-functional, missing cords, or straight up broken. So no zapper was entirely harmed in the making of this episode. 400. We need to start with sanding off the text and cutting tidbits off the gun that will make it look less like a Nintendo gun. You mean a zapper gun? What? Well, whatever. Dude, it's a little... Yeah, that piece is from an old vacuum. You know what I say, never throw it away. For my blaster, I wanted to completely remove the barrel and replace it with a vacuum part. I was hoping to alter this enough that you would remove most of the Nintendo zapper aspects. I'm using a 3D printed piece that needs a lot of work. Sanding, sealing, sanding, sealing, sanding, sanding, and painting. Additionally, I wanted my blaster to be as simple as possible in both look, as well as being able to get it in and out of the holster. You know, the ones we're gonna make for these Mando kits. Somewhat simple, I guess. My specific blaster needed a lot of modification to complete, but all the cutting and sanding was really necessary in order to combine the zapper base and the vacuum attachment as the two major components. This little bit was from a resin cast of another blaster build, and I thought it would be great as a trigger guard for my blaster. Not only as another design feature, but help me keep me from blowing my leg off when I pull it out of the holster. So I needed something on the nose end of the blaster. You mean the barrel end? That would look like it was holding the scope rail mount piece that I'm using. And Brian said, how about EVA foam? Specifically HD foam from SKS. Brilliant. The inspiration for my blaster is a DL-18 blaster pistol. Per Wikipedia, it is a model blaster pistol commonly used throughout the galaxy, particularly by bounty hunters and smugglers. Yeah. 
playing mind-numbing games. What is your motivation today? Uh, getting uh, my motivation is the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing inspires like a deadline. <laughs> Don't watch right now. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs>last zapper blaster build i got a lot of flack for not filling the screw holes and i do mean a lot of flack so this time around i'm filling them with equally a lot of spot putty and in my opinion i'm doing a very messy job and will only have myself to blame when i start sanding which there will also be a lot these little spot fills I didn't do the greatest job so really those and weathering and a little bit of small greebly work and I'm done some greeblification some greeblification I saw Bill Duran from Punish Props using this mini screwdriver and I have been looking for a replacement for my Husky version. I want to say that this tool is amazing. It has so many different tips and it's great for the price. So just a tool tip for you and we'll leave a link in the comments.
guess I have a thing for leather. This leather is just such a nice hand and is soft to the touch and I think will create a really comfortable grip on our blasters. No sliding around on the grip for us. At the last minute, I decided that my blaster needed a scope of sorts. This piece is actually resin copy of a machined Falcon cockpit piece. It was given to me by my friend Greg from What A Piece Of Junk YouTube channel. So thanks buddy, it works perfect. I'll let the rest of you try to figure out just what part this is and put your guesses in the comments below. Finally, we arrive at the weathering, and once again, I'm using water mixable oil paints. I'm using a lamp black and a raw umber. The mix of both of these colors will work really well together. I'll also note that I'm using a makeup brush that I found works exceptionally well for weathering. Carissa bought me this set of makeup brushes. Why do you ask? Well, that's simply none of your business. Thank you very much. Getting the paint down into all the nooks and crannies is exactly what is needed. You can wipe away the surface and the remaining paint will really make those recessed areas come alive. about you, but I think these two zapper guns turned Mando sidearms are going to work great for our Mando kits. I guess the only question left is which one of us is the clear winner. I mean, because I think I've kind of got you beat this time. Doubtful. Are you going to be a sore loser when I win? Nope. <laughs> Can't lose. Be the last one building something out of nothing. We're about... <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. Did you just smack me with rubber gloves? Blasters at dawn. <laughs> Today in the smuggler's room, we're about to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't compose myself. <sighs> Getting smacked a lot today. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian. And I'm Carissa. And this week, this chubby... Nope. <laughs> Oh my okay. God. <laughs> ready? What's up, you awesome geeks? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs>